We talked a lot about bioidentical hormones yes. and the impact that they have on males and females. Yes. And we want to talk at some point in time about on the rest of the family. Yes. But where do they come from? Where yes. do you, you know, what are they made from? Where do they come from? How do you access them? That's a great question. So bioidentical hormones are plant-based. So they come from the estrogen, for example. They come from wild yams. What has to be done with that, however, so you can't just go to the local drugstore and buy an over-the-counter soy estrogen and expect that that's bioidentical. That is not bioidentical because if you look at the molecular structure, that still needs to be changed around in a compounding pharmacy. So what an important element of this entire process is, is of course your physician or your clinician is very important to guide you. You as the patient is the crucial element of this process. So you've got your, your guide and your co-advocate, your co-captain as you put it. You've got the patient, you're working together, but you need the compounding pharmacist to make these hormones and to put them together in a safe, effective, deliverable form so that then you can take it. So now these hormones come from the plant-based derivatives. They are made into the similar, bio, the same identical bioidentical structure that your body can recognize, and then what your body does is it's able to use it. But the compounding pharmacist actually will take that biased, which is consisting of the estradiol, the estriol, and then what I normally do is in my patients, if I have what we call sort of a menopausal cocktail, I have the estrogen, the progesterone, and in women who need it, testosterone and DHEA, I have the compounding pharmacist put it all together in one cream and that cream is customized for each individual patient with each individual dose different based on their needs and their testing levels and those patients then use those creams directly on their on their skin and it gets absorbed directly into the bloodstream it's a fantastic mode of delivery and it's a fantastic way that you can deliver it directly to your body so it doesn't have to go through your liver and your gut and get broken down